one word <laughs> I'd have to describe my mom is passionate. I think one of the things I like most about Miss Soper is her approachability. Oh, Miss Soper is enthusiastic. Christina is flexible. Miss Soper is committed. I think Miss Soper is so inspirational. I don't know, she can be bullheaded when she needs to be, when she's got to get something done. She can also be very loving and caring. Miss Soper is passionate. Miss Soper is incredibly hardworking. Christina is the most persevering person I have met in a long time. Ms. Soper has had a particularly big impact in my life. Um, I, I, I've had some rough patches going through high school with s different stuff at home and just trying to work through all the stress. And so on a number of occasions, I, I've gone to Ms. Soper and just had conversations with her. And often that just lightens up my day. She knows how to reassure me that I, I, I'm loved and that someone cares for me. I performed in our nation's capital because of opportunities that she's given me. And I've been all over the world. You know, I've made music. What else is there to do? You know, and it's all because she took the time to sit down with a seventh grader who knew absolutely nothing about something and teach him French one. I mean, Miss Soper has shaped my future because of just the daily inspiration that she is. And I mean, watching her and learning from her, I mean, the, she just kind of, she kind of gave me my dream. Christina kind of embodies everything that you're looking for in a really good teacher. I, I used to watch her take kids to festivals and um, competitions, and they would come away with exemplary marks. And I would think, how does she do that consistently? Because the kids varied from year to year, and the talent varied from year to year, and the dedication of the kids varied from year to year. But I realized that that what was coming out was coming out because it was what she had put there. Um, she just has such um, such a, a love for her students and such a commitment to them. I think Christina embodies the pursuit of truth, beauty, and goodness because during a rehearsal she's really looking to get students to a new level of understanding of those concepts and it's not enough just to play the notes on the page. There's the music that sits in front of you that you look at and then there's the music in here. And that is another level that a lot of people never get to and a lot of other band programs don't teach very well, but that's something that she's really good at. In the Titans Creed, it talks about uh, Titans celebrating virtue in scholarship, relationship, and citizenship. And I think Ms. Soper uh, does a phenomenal job of this. She always reminds us of what it is like to be a TCA band member and that we have that commitment to excellence, which is uh, our band motto, I guess. There are a lot of things that could come to mind with regard to Christina and the Creed, but I guess the one that I would pick out is that she um, values responsibilities above her rights. Um, she's very, she's been so self-sacrificing in her work to bring the program to where it is and to help the kids have the opportunity that they've had. Um, she doesn't sit back and say, well, I shouldn't have to do such and such. She just does it. I remember there's a section of the Titan Creed that talks about how Titans love and respect and I believe care for each other, protect each other. 
um, and also about striving to do their best. And I think, I think that part of the Titan Creed probably is what Christina exemplifies the most. She has this amazing ability to take a group of kids and to form a band family. I think given, given our best to the world, the mind, body, spirit piece, um, she, like I said, she puts everything into the program. You know, when I'm out there, when I'm heading home at night and it's dark, it's raining or cold, and there's 150 kids out on the field marching around, I don't know any other way. That, that picture says more than I could ever say about her.